Benick gets out of dummy half. Offloads to Michael Blake. He beats one. Looks for support. Picks up his brother Phil Blake, who scores underneath the posts in this 1988 clash at the Sydney Football Stadium. The Rabbitohs' first ever appearance there after they relocated from Redfern Oval. And there's Mick Blake and his brother Phil having a drink. There's a lot of flapping around going on here behind where the players sit next to the tunnel. Anyway, we'll move on. The Roosters put up a bomb and it goes to ground. So I just go up and dive on the ball. But no one tackles me, so I get up and run in field. Then all of a sudden, two Roosters players start laying into me. And Luke Beasley's there, he gets a couple in. And then no one's in front of me, I'm standing there on my own. And Tucker's getting involved, he throws a couple. So it was a bit of an all-in brawl in two spots and funny to look back on now. So yeah, I'm Steve Maven from Rabbitohs TV. The winger in that blue. That's me on the left there shaking my head. And the halfback that was in that stink, Gary Bridge, is about to get his marching orders. See you later, mate. Off you go. So this is a coach's file tape with no sound. So the reason I'm calling is to give it a bit of life. So here's David Boyle. Now watch this when he gets up. After the play of the ball, watch what he does. Boom, headbutt. And the play moves on. The ref missed it. But as we go along, the touchy doesn't miss it. Here he comes with the flag up. The old touchy with the flag up. You don't see that anymore. There he is. And David Hookie Boyle gets called over. Now, what do you think happens to him here? Sin bin? Send off? Not back in 1988. It's a caution. Don't do it again, mate. Get back in the line. And Mario, just tell the boys to settle down. So we move on to the second half and the Roosters are on the attack. They get the ball to second row of Trevor Patterson and he scores next to the posts to put the Roosters right in this match. Try. Now watch this next bit of action. Here's Les Bundy Davidson. He hits the line and he's tackled. Now watch what happens after he hits the ground. He kicks out and the player stays on the ground. The ref's missed it again, but there's a touchy. He's back on. He's got an eagle eye, this guy. And Bundy gets called in. Player's still on the ground. Ref has a chat. He says, mate, I warned you, Mario. Next bloke that does it, he's going off and see you later, Les. Go and have a rest, mate. Bundy, one of the toughest blokes to ever play this great game of rugby league. Scrum feed, Coleman. He gets it out to Bronco de Jura. Wraps around. Picks up two good Bruce Longbottom and he breaks a tackle. Mark Ellison wraps around and here's Tugger backing up. Gets the ball again. Looks on the inside and who does he find? Phil Blake in space. And how doesn't he score there? Anyway, we're going left. Coleman gets it out to John Bilberger. But Slippery Morris is offside. Even though the ball's gone to the ground, the ref's seen it. He says, Slippery, father of Brett and Josh. You're off, mate. You're off too. Get off. Professional foul. See you later. So the bunnies kick the goal. And that makes it 12 all. So there's a minute to go. The Roosters are up by two. They got a penalty. There's only a few minutes left. We get it out to Bruce Longbottom. He stands in the tackle, gives it to Bronco to Jura, who sweeps it to me. And I've got the Axe Gilmeister in front of me. And I barge over and score in the corner. And we win the game. A memorable moment for the Rabbitohs. The first game at the football stadium. And Mario's pretty happy too. He goes to pick me up. Realises I'm too heavy. So then he walks back with his arms up in the air. And he picks up Tugger. He's quite happy about that win. As we all were. And there it is. 16 points to 14. The Bunnies over the Roosters. I'm Steve Maven. Please subscribe to Rabbitohs TV. See you next time.